I have heard talk about the dragons, but didn't believe it until now. One flew by last week and ever since we have seen him fly back and forth from a nearby mountain peak. My wife thinks we should move away, go somewhere else. I told her that would be nonsense. As long as we don't bother it, it won't bother us. Still, I thought it would be best if we reported to the local authorities. The creature's lair is just south of the hill behind our shack near Bear Caves Mill. Welcome back. Poor Red in here discovered his uh, auntie and uncle a little bit worse for wear thanks to a dragon according to the uh, note which it looks like was left in his uncle's handwriting. He's decided to sleep off the drink. Clear his head a bit. He's had some food. He considered burying the bodies but ultimately decided that he would let the wolves have them. What he has done is he's taken what few belongings his yeah, auntie and uncle had which included a nice pair of leather boots and leave some of the stuff he can't carry behind in the chest. He's uh, also taken the wood axe. Might come in handy, make a bit of coin. Remembering what Hadvard said to him the day before, he thought he would uh, head to Riverwood, try and get directions to the nearest king or earl or count of Yao. Depends what they call him in Skyrim. And uh, Riverwood is where had I told him to go if he needed help it's a nice early morning mid morning now probably nine ten, ten o'clock or something and uh, Edward is on his way goodbye guys Beehive. Go, 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 go. Leave me alone. Whoa. Apparently, every wolf in Skyrim is a bit of a brave bugger. Okay, go. No, oh, oh, oh. not actually got enough. Get him. Whoa. And again. I should really look where I'm going. That's twice I've just missed a bear trap. Oh. 
find him. Good doggy. Unless you managed to avoid Alki, did you? Shame. How much weight is on that carrier? Terrible at this. Should have picked up more lessons from my father when he was alive. Yeah, it's too cold up here as well. No, you just have to stay there. So that way, I think. that way. There used to be a lake in this direction from when I used to play as a child. Is it this direction? I think it's this direction. Why don't I just look at my map? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Roughly in the right direction. Come on. I'll hang about. There. Hello. I'm not aggressive. Good, good. Alright. I think I'm going that way. Hmm. One of the burial crypts or whatever they call them in Skyrim. Yeah. Can't remember what I'm called. Jacob used to call him. Never mind. <laughs> Need to get to the town. What are these? Stone. stone. Thief stone. What happens if I touch it? There. Why did I get the urge to touch that? Never mind. Like this one. Who's that? Hello? Oh, fire, fire. Hello? Excuse me. Do you mind if I, um... 
Do you mind if I uh, use your fire? So as a don't say anything if you mean I can. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Better. So you like to fish? Yeah? No? I know. You're thinking to yourself, who is this crazy bald man? I just You know, just what just come sit and bid the fire with the the uh, woman. I'm assuming you're a woman because you know you're wearing that top. Uh, hello. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Oh, that's the polite way of saying what do you want and get on with it. Okay. Um. So you're a hunter. What do you sell? Take a look. Sell goat hide. I'll take it. I get the feeling I'm going to need some kind of mm -hmm. leather or hide to repair this knapsack I found. No? Don't care? Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Your fire was very welcome. Ugh, it's too heavy. Oh, not too heavy. Forgot to turn. We're gonna walk back off. Boom. Foolish boy. Nice meeting you. I'll come and stare at your chest and pretend that I'm getting warm in future. No. Okay, awkward, awkward, awkward. Was your fire I wanted really? I don't think she heard me. I've not got any arrows in the back of my head, so that's a good sign. It's down here, isn't it? Riverwood. If that's a river. I'm going to take that as a sign that there might be a town nearby. There's also some trees that might constitute a wood. Yeah. River wood, very. Hello? Ah. I see you. Say hello to Alke. Okay. Get them, get them, get them. Get them. Ah. Run, 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 get up the hill. Aha! Aha! This is the advantage of being bipedal. Aha! I can climb, you can jump. You know you can actually jump at me from there. But I'm going to take your wolf mind to my advantage. Hey, clever dog. Good dog. Oh. Well, oh, stay away. That's a mill. I'm not far away then. 
Yeah, Wolfie. Yeah, Wolfie, Wolfie. Come and play fetch with the arrow. Wolfie. Wolfie. Woohoo. Okay. Yeah. Can I get down now? I'll have to come back and get the pelt later. Worth money, you know. If you're going to attack me, you can, at least you can expect me to take your skin for it. Right. Well, it was a nice day to be uh, looking for help. Come on, wise dog. Need to one of you before. A dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What? Oh, you said it now, mother. It was as big as a mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like over this, the everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got that was yesterday. to do than listen to more of your fantasies. Unless he's been you back see, again. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Uh, excuse me. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. I believe you. Did you hear? The Riverwood trader was robbed. Poor Lucan must be torn to pieces over there. You saw a dragon, and the local shop was robbed. You're a wealth of information. Now, the blacksmith. That's who he said. You're, you're not dressed like a blacksmith. That's not what I expect one to look like. Come on, excuse me. Greetings, stranger. The name's Yormir, and I'm at your service. Well, that's good. Well, you know, there's anything I can help you with. Perhaps you need your boot shine, or your tunic wash, or need a letter delivered. Uh. Yeah, th yeah, the le letter. Do you, um, I do have a letter, and it's uh, for the authorities about the dragon that killed my uncle and auntie. Oh, right. I knew I forgot something. Is it a long missive? Perhaps I can memorize it. Uh, it's already written. All you have to do is take it. I just don't want to do it myself. Yeah. Dear Dragon, I'm coming back for you. Edward dictated, but not signed. Yeah? You can add that bit on at the bottom. Do you mind? Okay. Dear Dragon, I'm going. Or was it coming? Can you repeat that? Uh, no. Maybe. You are bad at this. Or maybe I just need the right teacher. You seem well traveled. Are you in need of an apprentice? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Traps to catch game. Uh, uh, tell you what. When Oblivion freezes over, I come back. Really? Here. I'll do everything you ask. No. Just say the word. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, um. Yeah. I'll well. See you later. By any chance, do you know where the uh, blacksmith is? Because you're just using his stuff, I take it. Oh. Hello? Ah. 
Hadva. Oh, I'm in the right place then. Oh, excuse me. Um, do you mind? I'd like to. Um... I hope that dragon is still flying around there somewhere. Well, apparently, the uh, old woman at the front gate says it is. Good luck. If you get a chance, you want... look me up in solitude. Why? Why are you going to solitude? Oh yeah, never mind. Alva. I'm going to assume you're the right person because he is actually sat here with me. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Yeah. What? Uh, how do I said I should come and speak to you? So, um, what can you tell me? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Okay. Not to be cheeky, but... Hadva said you could uh, help me out with some stuff. Of course. Take what you need. Ah. Thank you. Oh, I love it. You don't mind, dear? Tents are always useful. I'll have a little bit. Having the beer. And that. And that. And. Oh, the ale. More bit. Do you mind? All I've got is these um, prison rags. I know. Doesn't look good, does it? Tell you what, give it me off. Thank you. There's something you could do for me. For all of Come. us here. The Yarn uh, uh, needs what? to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Why can you do that? Uh, so, um... Yeah. So basically, fine. Okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Where it is? Where is it? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Okay. And this Jarl, he's, he's not going to try and chop my head off too, is he? Jarl Balgraf. He rules White Run Hold. A good man. Yep, with an eye fist? Oh, no, okay, okay. Cautious, but these are dangerous times. Overcautious so in that he wouldn't let Hadvar in an Imperial uniform? I'm afraid it can't last, though. Ah, makes sense. You're wearing an Imperial uniform and he wouldn't let you in. Hmm. Okay, okay, fine. I'll do it. All you have to do is ask. Go on, who's your side I is he on then? He likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? Ulfric's the guy in the car. But I've no Funny. doubt he'll prove Never loyal mind. to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Hmm. You support the Empire then? <laughs> Obviously. Hello. Who's Elisif ah, then? I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, yeah. I should say. Lived in the Jarel Mountains. Only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't well, ignore that. Your general said he shouted him to death and they had him gagged, so must have been something in it. The bad old days. You want the bad old days? Try living in a tiny little village in the middle of the Jarrell Mountains, doing nothing but gathering plants for your alchemist mother for 20 years. No, your dad wouldn't even take you out on the hunt. No, no, no. 
no, no, I'll teach you how to fire a bow, but you'll just get in my way, so stay at home and use the practice dummies, blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, um, um, yeah, okay. What do you think about you the war? You are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Uh, okay. So... That concord concordo, concordial. <laughs> there was some sort of peace treaty, wasn't there? And that's what the farmer enforced or something. I vaguely remember something being said about it when people passing through the village. From that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? Okay, the yeah, yeah, that's was the one. Forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't yeah. pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine. I was Talos. forced to go to bed at nine o'clock, but, but I still stayed up to half past. Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. I get the feeling your wife is keen for me to leave. So, um... One last cheeky question. Do you mind if I um, tell the lunatic outside to bugger off so I can use your phone? I see no harm in it. If you Thank have you. the skill. No, 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 no chance. Improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw I materials, think. Yeah, okay. you can use the forge to make something new. Hmm. Sounds good. Well... I'd better get back to work. You two make yourselves at home. Um, yeah. So that's what it was all about. Hmm? It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude Ooh. from here. I'd recommend heading to White Run, just down the road from here. From there, you can I've take go there anyway. to Solitude. Were you daydreaming? Your uncle? Yeah, yeah. Your uncle asked me to go. You were daydreaming, weren't you? However, that you've been on the line as well. What are you doing? If this is some kind of weird Anything exercise routine, Liz. you want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Make sure you have the right raw materials. Make some. You're armor. gonna do pull-ups. Just need to um, tell yeah. the rest of us you're gonna do it. What do you mean That's... by raw materials? I'll tell you what, your secret compartment is very well hidden. Some leather on the rack. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Right. Thanks. Oh, Something. right. I need that. No. Where is the uh, backpack I picked up? To the lever. Yeah. Bye. Let's not destroy the boots. I need the boots. All right. I need hey, another leather mate. Within reason, of course. I don't know. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Level, level. Can you not give it me? 55. Oh. 
Go on, I'll have... What was it? One. Thank you, I think. All right, then. 55 for the level. Now, that backpack I picked up just needed a little bit of repairing and... Thank you. got all this stuff stuffed in my very very convenient pockets uh, yeah do you mind Ooh. not bad reminds me when I first started smoking. The little trick my father taught me. If you're going to go uh, travelling, I'm not taking you. No offence. You're a little annoying. Uh, excuse me. Where was this uh, shop you were telling me about? Sure. What do you want? Fine, fine. I find it myself. Um. Oh, sign. Riverwood Trader. Riverwood Trader? Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, that was the one. Well, one of us has to do something. I yeah. said no. What now? No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Uh, <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Customer, <laughs> sorry you had to hear. Yes. No, no, carry on. Ooh, daggers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh she's miffed. Now, excuse me. I wish to uh, have a look. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. I didn't need to overhear it. The woman outside is telling everyone who wants to ask know about it. Apparently, you got robbed, uh, didn't you? Yeah, we we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still ah, had to sell. It. Robbers were only after one thing: an ornament and solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Expensive. Expensive. You you know, would you uh, reward me for it? I'll. At least let me sell it to you if I got it back. You could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if oh, you bring my good, claw good, good. back. Now, if you're going I think to about it. Steve, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, <laughs> northwest of town. Deep. Yes. Thieves. So now you don't have to go. Do oh yeah, you? stolen. Oh. oh really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, 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 fine, I, thanks. By the eight, fine, but only to the edge of town. Who says I'm leaving? The sooner Excuse you me. find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Well, I'm not interested in that right now. I came in to buy some Take stuff. Look. Fine. What have you got? What have I got? Uh, do, you, do you want any of my gear? Hey, have some uh, mage robes. They're not really my style. And a necklace. Yeah. It was me auntie's. I know it's only cheap and nasty, but my uncle was never much of a uh, romantic fool. And she's not going to need it, and I'm not going to wear it. So, um, yeah. You have to move on, see? Yeah, you know. One of those things. Yeah, you can have one of them too. Right. Yeah. Can I? 
You, you don't pay out much, do you? What have you got? I would like... Common robes. No. Illumination. Hmm. Interesting. Too expensive, mate. That's too expensive. That, that's too expensive too. I need, I need money, mate. Have you not got money? <laughs> Can I not buy money from you? I give you ten pence and you give me a hundred pence. Hmm? Ten penny of ten septum pennies and you give me a hundred septum pennies. No. No. Ooh. What's all this about? Hmm. Newspaper, is it? Fine. I'm curious. Could have bought food cheaper, but sod it. Next time. Fine, fine. Yeah. Next time. Bye bye. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't we sneak up on me like that. Across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You're near around here. From here, though. So go easy the mountain here. just over the building. Don't get on my dad's side. That. Those thieves must be mad. Burial thing. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. He asked me to get this dragon claw thing back from some thieves. He didn't say anything about going into a Stupid burial dog. chamber thing. Stupid dog. Happy? You've upset the dog. Go on. You said you're going to show me where the path is. Come on. Find our lead. Over here somewhere. That sun's bright this morning. Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. He's your brother. Why don't you just ask him? I'm assuming he's your brother. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the north. Oh, yeah, he said he was just your assistant. Yeah, yeah. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too to long. <laughs> Such a child. The path to the northwest. North. West. So. That path going that way. So what's that? Is that the one that goes... That's the path that goes through Whiterun, yes? Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. So. Straight ahead for Whiterun. That away for your tomb thing well, yeah it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead you'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower once you get to the tower head north bleak falls barrow should be just around the corner further up good luck lucan and i will be waiting for you back in the uh, shop think about it Take a message to the owl. 
take my uncle's message to the owl. Or go and look for an expensive trinket so I can get paid. Trinkets are trinkets, I just sold me aunties. Um, I'm going to go and take the uh, message from Riverwood and my uncle to the owl. <laughs> 